so they're going to have in-person classes for smaller ones. Um, I have a couple of smaller classes, so I decided, you know, I'm not a huge fan of online education. And uh, as long as we're, you know, taking the right preventative measure measures, uh, being in person should be uh, fine, I think. Building in more habits into my day that I don't think I did much in college. So um, hopefully I'll, now I have access to like a full nice kitchen in my house, so it'll be easier to cook. Um, I have my own room without a roommate, which is nice. So we're like, I can work out and play music and stuff and not worry about bothering someone else. So like taking advantage of the stuff I do have here. When I was trying to come back, uh, my dad was like, okay, you should definitely uh, stay in the US because the US is going to be so good. Like they'll handle this crisis very well. He was very skeptical about me coming back. And now he's as skeptical of me going back to the US. TAing is going to be definitely different. Uh, we have online recitations, but we also have hybrid recitations. And so we don't know exactly yet what the split is going to be of people who are in person uh, versus online. So we have to be prepared for teaching a class if half the people are online and half are not. I have to like kind of make my own schedule because there's no way I'm attending my now 5 a.m. lectures. A few of my friends are also coming back here and it's been a while since I've, you know, interacted with people of my age in person. I'm a member of the Origami Club. Origami is one of those things that it should be, in theory, super easy to socially distance. Because it really shouldn't be that much of a uh, challenge. I mean, you don't have to do anything with anyone, really. You can just chill by yourself, just do some folding. I enjoy being in an environment where I know that there will be other college students around me. And like, I'm in a, even though it's virtual, kind of virtual, I enjoy being in this area. Like, you know, if I look around, I'll probably just see other students walking around like on the sidewalk and stuff. Um, so I like being in this environment where I know I'm surrounded by people uh, of the same age as me or like in the same position as I am. I feel like on the level I'm talking to my friends, I feel like I've already graduated. Like we're doing completely separate jobs and we're like not seeing each other often. I think that's sort of become how it's, and I think we all have to sort of go back and readjust to making new friends. I've been reading uh, this book by Dale Carnegie uh, called How to Win Friends and Influence People. I've been reading all of these chapters and they're like, this is what you should do. And I agree with everything, but with whom? If I'm going to be like diplomatic with my parents, then that's not the solution, right? Like you need people for this to be enacted upon. And I think people are not here. build a sense of camaraderie with your TAs because all of your TAs are these upperclassmen who like you get the opportunity to interact with and like don't be afraid to you know like strike up friendships with them um, because I think it'll just help you in the long run and like help everyone stay a little more sane. Be more extroverted than you usually would be because everyone is in the same position that you are. My friends who I'm really close with right now they're gonna be like probably my lifelong friends I met them in college um, a lot of them I met during either O week or the first couple weeks of college um, because that's the time when you just meet a bunch of people and then you figure out who you click with. We have like an SCS orientation event. We have a short presentation about like some of the clubs in SCS and then the main thing is it's just time for people in SES to meet each other, talk to each other, make friends. If you want to talk to upperclassmen, if you want to talk to TAs, if you saw someone who's in a club you like. So we're trying to replicate that. If you feel, oh, it would be nice if someone reached out to me because I could start a conversation, it's very, very likely that the other person is feeling the exact same way. So if you're the one to sort of initiate the conversation, chances are you'll probably meet a great person, make uh, start off a new friendship. I can't imagine getting the grades I got or doing half as well as I did without a lot of people that were helping me along the way. So like I've told my friends that I know that are incoming freshmen from my high school or just that I know that lived in my area before. It's all about finding new friends. Kids would be on Zoom classes and Zoom lectures and they'd have like a Skype call opened up with their friends because everyone was far away, but it was still this thing that like, no, I want to be studying with my friends. Little seriously, I think it's, it's honestly good that you sort of internalize the feeling that you're in competition with only yourself and not others generally. It's like the very last time in your life that you'll be living with people of your same age uh, who have sort of the same interests and same ideas because after that you just branch off, go into the world, you know. Uh, it won't be the same ever again. So 
make sure that you sort of value each moment. Dale Carnegie in the book is like very, very like, uh, is a big fan of Andrew Carnegie and how he conducted his business online.